George Caruana from McLeod's Academy veteran here in Ballerina. McLeod's Academy is under the tutelage of Neil McLeod, martial arts master, stick fighting champion, absolute monster, so, so skilled, so recognized, real pioneer of British MMA. And that's the McLeod Academy in Aylesbury. If you're anywhere near there, go check it out. What a great group of guys and great class. Just moved to a big new venue, uh, uh, Phil Fit Gym in the middle of uh, Aylesbury Town Center. Huge facility. And we're seeing now they've got some such high level fight fighters. And George Karuna being one of them. Everyone has been talking about this fight. Super, super excited about it. I can't wait to see this one. I was thinking last night, I was making my notes about the commentary, and I was so excited to see this go down. George looking a lot more shredded than he has done before. Looking abs, looking monstrous, monstrous. You're the man, George. You get in there, buddy. Steve being as unbiased as always. George Karuna, my brother. George Karuna's put on some mass. He's got some muscles now. He's changed. And the man who needs no introduction, Rob, the magician, the maverick, the mayhem masters, putting his title on the line tonight against George Karuna of McLeod's MMA. Rob Masters, what a workout song as well. I didn't think you could hear this on YouTube, but there's some funky beats he's got going on. Funky, funky beats. This I think Robert Masters thinks he's Bruno Mars, so. This is, this is Ballerina in Birmingham. Ballerina 50, this is our biggest event so far. We've had two huge knockouts on this car. We've had arm bars, we've had an arm triangle, we've had a rear naked choke. We've had some ground and pound from hell. It's been an amazing night of fights. If you ever want to come and see MMA, Skip the big shows. Don't go to London and get the cheap seats behind a pillar where you can barely see what's happening. Come along to a battle arena event. Every single ticket, you will get an amazing view and you will see amazing fights. And look, for example, this show, we've got the best part of 30 fights. You know, even if there's one or two boring ones in, you are going to see some knockouts. You're going to see some, some machines from fighting legends here in George Karuna versus Rob Masters. Two. Two of the guys are up and comers, two future battle arena legends, I would say. Moving on to the big show, both of them, I'm sure, very, very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, this is five three minute rounds, and this is for the battle arena European Antwerp title. Introducing the first fighter in the red corner, three sixty one two. Representing the crowd academy, George. I said Karuna. Caruana. George Karuna. Karuana. <laughs> Rob Masters got Josh Neal in his corner. Josh Neal, bit of a, a bit of a legend of the UK MMA scene. Fought in Japan, fought all over. Te uh, Jiu Jitsu purple belt. Ray Royal, respected fighter in himself. Training partner of Sam Creasy, who's fighting for a Cage Warriors Featherweight Flyweight World Championship at the end of the month, who is also a former battle, battle arena bantamweight champion. Here they go. Who will be the champ? George Ooh. coming out. Unorthodox, long hands. Nice Ooh, inside leg kick, great work. George usually is the longer, taller fighter here at bantamweight. He fought Tom Gibbs at battle arena in Houghton Regis. And a big spinning wheel kick lands and can he land on top rob masters got in tight there now what what's worried me about rob masters in the past is his cardio he's just he's just got that little bit tired and this is a five round fight that's a long time will he be able to pace himself it is and we saw george karuna essentially take a licking and keep on ticking against against Jor uh, sorry against tom gibbs who's the current bantamweight regional title holder what's interesting here about rob masters i you say, you say cardio, I say focus sometimes. I think sometimes Rob's got his idea of the way he wants the fight to go, and if it doesn't quite go that way, it, it prevents him from, from really reacting in the way that I think he could and his talent would allow him to. Well, it looks but like Rob Moss is really trying to muscle the triangle at the moment. He's really trying to force the arm between his legs to get submission. Oh, great, sweet, though. Just Ooh. as we start criticizing too much, he does an excellent sweep with those dov double overs. Will George be able to get onto his right side and slide that leg out? George has got Neil McLeod in his corner. 
That's got to be real helpful having that insight of such an MMA veteran and legend. Keep good. it nice and calm. We have to. We do have to remember that this is early days. Even though he he glanced that wheel kick. Rob is a champion for a reason. We've seen this before. This is this might be a theme here at Battle Arena, but people on the bottom of half guard, they're so worried about the ground and pound that they're kind of whizzering or overhooking that that arm when they should be looking for an underhook, and it just means they can't get any space to escape. It might mean that they survive a bit better and it, you know they deal with the immediate danger, but it. In terms of improving position, I don't think it's the right thing to do. Yeah, George just looking at controlling the head there. Rob's really peppering those shots into his ribs. Now he's back against the cage, and oh, I think great. he can stand it's back up. Oh, but Rob looking for the guillotine. He's got to be careful. It's an arm in. It's an arm in guillotine, which is not as tight, and he doesn't have the legs wrapped, so George should be able to deal with it, which he does. Steps to the side, steps to the safe side. Now George is relatively safe here in half guard. What he wants to do is get his right leg out and get to a full side control, and then he should be safe from that choke, which is exactly what he's trying to do, expertly done. He chases it rather well. And now Rob's got that knee in the way a little bit, but, he's, but George is crushing him down in side control. Rob needs to let go at this point. He's, that arm is that, trying to get that choke anymore. It's just losing in this position, although he's sneaking that knee back through. Oh, and they end up in that kind of double what I call the matador position here, where they're both <laughs> shouldering on each other, kind of like Good two pressure. bulls. Oh, nice knee. knees, nice. George. Good, Sneaky Rob didn't knees. like that. That was very, very interesting. And George Cruno all smiles in there. I mean, based on past performance, the longer this fight goes, the more it might play into George's hands. You know, we've seen- You gotta love Neil McLeod, always a smile on his face, no matter <laughs> how the fight is going. He's so happy that everything's still there. I remember cornering a fight against Neil and uh, my fighter absolutely smashed round one and I as we walked out as the corners walked out I gave Neil a little bit of a sarcastic comment about how his fighter was doing and then his fighter came out and knocked out my guy in round two so not to be trifled with Neil McLeod no he might just tell you exactly what to do at the right time <laughs> I want to see I want to see Rob Masters you see again Rob Masters his arms are up He's a very strong, very muscular fighter. There's a lot of blood that needs to pump through the body to, to power those muscles of Rob Masters. But I think he's paced himself a lot better than he normally does. I think he's a bit more aware of this five-round fight. He didn't come out like a bull, which we have seen in the past. He looks a lot more composed, and he's not actually breathing as heavily as I would have expected. Round two, this is so exciting. Battle Arena title fight. Brought to you by Viking Warrior Nutrition and the Slap and the Giraffe podcast. Will we see another wheel kick? Little tap of the gloves here. You know, I, like, I like George George Kroon's style. Oh, he, but he eats a right hand. Those hands a little bit wide there. Oh, turning side kick. I love George's style. Just wild, wild kicks. Just loves his wild kicks. Rob, a bit more of a boxing style, very very tight hands, good footwork in and out. Because he's the slightly less rangy fighter, Rob, he needs to get in close, work inside, just As like he that. Does. Oh, oh, down George. on the floor. Is George able to get his hooks in? Possibly looking for a butterfly there momentarily, but it's going to end up in half guard, I think. George needs to get, get onto his right side, try and work that right knee through. Or use the cage to try and get back to his feet. Get to like a seated position against the cage. Shoulder walk up and get out of there. Yeah, this is a position that definitely definitely favors Masters. Rob being very, very crafty here. He's got that form across the face of George Karuna. He's looking to make it uncomfortable. Make it maybe looking for George to react or unlock his, his guard so that Rob can pass. Both of these guys look huge for 61 kilos. They must have to cut a lot of weight to get there. Well, that's the thing that's been introduced in this battle arena is the day before weigh-ins. So, so there is some element of weight cutting going on between these two. Probably a healthier sort of performance for George Kroonow this time around. This is this thing at battle arena. We are constantly upping our game. This show, we have professional hand wrappers because, you know, some corners, some teams, they're not experienced boxers, you know, jiu-jitsu school or something. They, you know, they don't have a lot of experience wrapping hands, and that, you can get broken hands if your hands aren't wrapped properly. So 
We have a professional team of hand wrappers. So everyone's getting their hands wrapped the same, so there's no advantages. And they get it wrapped well, so no one's getting broken hands. We're having day before weigh-ins. So guys have got 48 hours to recover and rehydrate instead of 24 hours. We are upping our game. We are, this is why we are Europe's number one amateur promotion. Yeah, real professional experience here for these amateurs. As Rob looks to land a huge hammer fist and then uses, him, uses those hips to power George Kruna back down onto the mat. And he's controlled the vast majority of this second round. Rob with the pressure. Lean on the face of George Karuna. So strong. Rob is pacing himself. He's got fitter. He knew this is this was a five-round fight. Look, he's, you can even see him tempering his breathing. He, this is a new and improved Rob Masters. This is a 2.0 Rob Masters. This George is the, Karuna this with is a comeback in the last few seconds, maybe. This is the Rob Masters that'll go pro and make a big dent. Wow. <laughs> Round two done. Round two. In the bag. Three to go. Can you believe it? George, the cardio Karuna. The more tired they look at the two fighters, but that's the thing. Being on the bottom is so much more exhausting because you're constantly trying to escape. You're constantly trying to lift the weight of the other person. And there was a... Then and Rob was doing really well to disrupt the breathing and have the forearm across the neck. It was just making it very uncomfortable and very hard for George to get any sort of defense or even an offense of looking for sweeps or anything of the sort and the guy on top you're not working that hard you want to be a dead weight you're not actually like squeezing or driving into them you're actually just kind of you know it's like picking up a drunk friend is very very difficult because they're so relaxed and heavy you know if someone's stiff and upright they're very easy to pick up that's why you always pull drunks by their feet i find <laughs> let their head bounce on every <laughs> single stair here we go for the third round we're not even in the championship rounds yet, and we've already had a brilliant exchange between these two. A wheel kick landing in the first, and some great top, top heavy game by Rob Masters, who is a training partner for Sam Creasy as well, ahead of his Cage Warriors world title fight at the end of the month on March 24th. Another so battle arena veteran, Sam so Creasy. Good. Those hands out. Oh, it just. He wants to win by spinning kick. He does. He wants to He wants to land that highlight reel knockout, something that will be seen through the ages. Problem oh, is Rob now looking, that looking to power in off those shots. Oh, I think he lands. landed a hook and an uppercut as it came in. Oh, he's got the guillotine. It's not our minute. It looks strong. It's quite high elbow there. If he can hold that high elbow, he might be able to extend. We call this a Marcelatine with a high elbow. Rob could be in a lot of trouble. That neck is at a hell of an angle. George got to be careful not I to blow his arm I can't see Rob out. tapping. Rob will not. He's so strong. He's so fit. Oh, I'm not sure how tight that is. It's hard to see from this angle. Oh, oh excellent work by and Rob Masters. see Rob Masters take a deep breath there. Wow. I'm sure he's going to be three inches taller at the end of this fight. <laughs> he needs it. But every time you get caught in one of those submissions, you're essentially holding your breath for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and that could absolutely fatigue Rob Masters. And now that is the left arm of George Karuna completely spent trying to squeeze that choke. I think George just, you know, he looked to re readjust his hands and just couldn't get that grip back on. It was quite, <laughs> quite a dramatic moment there in here in the third round. It gets so much harder when you get into the third, fourth, fifth round. Both guys are sweaty, lubricated. You know, you can slip in and out of things so much easier. George looking again for that guillotine. It's going to be hard to get from there. Rob's corner, calling for, calling for a pass. Josh Neal pleading with his fighter to try and get a pass. That posture is very is broken by George Kroon as George looks for a scissor sweep, very hard to get. Now he's starting to climb that guard higher and higher. Maybe hoping Rob will posture up. Look to land a strike where he can snap on an armbar. So this position, George is on the bottom. He's the guy with the closed guard. We feel it closed because his legs are wrapped around Rob Masters. Now, George is looking for submissions or a sweep. Sweep is where we knock the other person over, get on top. And what Rob wants to do is land some ground and pound, get George to panic, open his legs, and then he wants to throw his legs to the side so he can get to a dominant position. I'm doing color. You are doing You're some doing color. You're doing play-by-play. Is that what I'm doing? I think so. Do you want me to do color? <laughs> I don't mind. Now, here what we've got here <laughs> is uh, <laughs> two... 
Males fighting it out for domination here at Battle Arena 50. One of these fellows will be crowned champion at the end of the night. And not just any champion. They'll be European bantamweight Whoa. champion. That means they can go to anywhere in Europe without a passport. Until Brexit. Until Brexit. <laughs> George Karuna. And again, we, we finished the third round very similar to the way we finished the, the second. Rob Masters on top. Look at, oh, very, uh, they'll probably get a warning there about the forearm. George, Cl George Karuna. Oh, wow. I'm George impressed by Rob's cardio. He looks so much better than we've seen before. Yeah, much better than, than we have seen him before. He just needs to stay calm, stay composed as we go into these championship rounds. It's a question of who's going to get there the fastest with the mostest now because it's still anybody's game. We've got two rounds that could possibly be won by George Karuna. And then we'll see how it was scored. But somebody, Both fighters have got to be looking coming out in the fourth round with murder on their minds. This is, uh, this is interesting that, I mean, George doesn't seem to have the, the advantage enough in the ground game to be able to get back to his feet. So dropping for those guillotines, especially early in the round, it's a big risk because he spent the rest of the round stuck on the bottom. And then the judges, you know, are they going to say he only ended up on the bottom because he was going for the choke, he didn't actually get taken down, or they're just going to say, look, Rob was on top for most of the round, it's as simple as that. You know, it's very hard to say. There's, there's so much strategy. When it looks like we might, well, you know, we might go all five rounds, and every round, every score, every point is going to count a lot. And unless you've been in the in the cage or the ring, or even tested yourself in MMA, if you're coming out from a, a straight Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu understanding or a wrestling understanding or a boxing understanding, you might wonder why oh. these these people aren't doing certain techniques. It's because you have to, you have an entire series of techniques that are being used as you see George Karuna coming to the calf kick which has just been made popular lately something that hasn't been used in George oh a big double leg by Rob Masters George Karuna give him a little nod George Karuna is winning the striking fairly he comfortably is. but Rob is recognizing that choosing his timing and just shooting in straight away and really great great job getting the fight to the floor Josh Neal in the corner of Rob Master saying this is where he wants to be. Obviously, in the camp, this was something they were drilling. They knew they'd be against the taller, lengthier opponent. So it was to get the fight to the floor. I still think you're right, Chris. I still think George Cruden really needs to fight up with his left arm into that underhook, get up on his right elbow and try to trouble Masters by, by coming up behind him. We, we, Rob Masters is doing a good job of holding, but he's, he's not doing everything perfectly. He doesn't have a perfect base. If George can get onto his side, he slide the knee through just as I was saying it. I could see the space there. And he did a great job of sliding that knee through. Now that cage is the difficulty. It's, ma it's making it hard for George to straighten out and then drag that leg through completely. If it was me, I'd try and get my left leg inside to like a single butterfly hook and make space. Then be able to get my right leg a bit further through. But it's so hard with someone as good as Ron Master putting pressure on you. As strong, as heavy right now as Rob Masters. He's really putting a lot of pressure down. I'd like to see George Kuna post up on that right hand and look to stand up or wall walk, as we call it. Really run your hands through that cage, but it looks like Rob's connected his hands. Could be Maybe trying to cradle. set up a cradle, Japanese necktie, Das choke, anaconda, ninja choke. Or just a big old Just keep going, cradle. Chris. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> a lot of chin control there, chin control pass. I was very optimistic about what he's going for. They're all real moves, by the way. I wasn't making them up. These boys are going to be sore tomorrow. Oh, yeah. George there we go. There we go. Desperate to get back to his feet, but will he give up his neck to do it? Oh, he's reversed the position straight to the side. Excellent work by George Karuna. This is more reminiscent of that first round. And George Karuna get get that right knee a little bit closer into the hips of Rob Masters and prevent the... Yeah, uh, I'd like to see right the Von Flew position tight. again for, for George Karuna's right there. See, what Steve wants is the George Karuna's left arm underneath the head and then his left shoulder driving into the face and it makes it very hard for Rob Masters to keep hold of the head. Man, that fourth round. It's anybody's game coming into the fifth. George Karuna landing these great shots. He's doing really well. 
George Crooner looks less tired now. Round two, I was like, oh, we might have issues with his cardio. That I think he's settled in, he's found his range, his pace. It was almost like the life was sucked out of him yeah, after that second Rob round, Rob is starting to look tired. I've lost oh. count. Is it round four now? It's five. Five? Oh, my goodness. We're in the final round. This is where so it's got to go. Yes, we do. Always. Oh, yeah, we can always come live, especially for this, the fifth and final round, my man. This is Battle well, maybe later on. 50. We have Rob Masters versus George Karuna here live, live. Not yet live at Edge Baston Stadium. George taking some instruction there from Neil McLeod. Rob Masters. George Karuna versus Rob Masters. The championship round. Who wants it more? Who did, all, who did the extra hill sprints? Who did the extra runs? Who trained that little bit harder? Who can dig deep right now? And can George really, can George change his approach in this fifth round? He can't be throwing up all those high kicks. As good as they are, they're, they're getting him taken down every time. I'd like to see George just throw some boxing. Just jab, cross, jab, cross, just one twos, one twos. I think he's going to go high with the kicks again, though. Oh, and if it works, I'll worry our words. Another low calf kick. And I think, I think Rob is actually playing it up. Yep, he is. He was using that whole wibbledy dibbledy look. Will George get the guillotine? He's got his arms together. High elbow, high elbow. But it's an arm in. High elbow with an arm in. Is it high it's elbow very arm hard. In? He's got a squeeze here for all he's worth. Oh, it's a shame. It's a shame. That was so, so close. Rob Masters just did an amazing job toughing it out. This has been the story of this fight. It's George going for submissions, but Rob sneaking Ending up out on and top. getting on top. And then George not being able to do much when he's just on the bottom without something. We need to see George wall walk in, which he's trying desperately to do. Maybe try and go for a sweep, throw up some triangles, throw up some arm oh, bars. Interesting what Rob Masters is doing. He's reached that right arm very deep, and he was controlling George's right arm, but lost it there. Probably looking for some ground That's and pound the, off uh, the move. Everyone doing that. There's Khabib. some fashion in this fight. We've seen the, the low calf kicks, which is the fashion in MMA now, and the Khabib reach around the back, snake hand, hold the far arm, and then hammer fist. At least attempted. That's a horrible position when someone gets that grip. You'll see them grab the gloves because the forearm is sweaty. You slip out, you grab the gloves or the, the wrist strap on the gloves. You can really hold tight. George pressed up against the cage. He's got a foot on the hip. I like that foot on the hip move. He's got to, he's got to abandon that neck and look to stand up, does George Karuna. But he's just, he's married to it right now. Seems to be that's what that's the only place his mind can go is is for that over that head wrap that kind of semi guillotine position. Yeah, he's desperate for that guillotine, but Rob has got a strong neck. It's just toughing it out. It's gonna be hard to get. Warning from the referee, kicks to the spine. We've seen some modern MMA techniques, some fashion, and now we're seeing some classic with the kicks from the bottom, the Hoist Gracie style. George has just got to throw stuff up. I think maybe Rob thinks he's two or three rounds up and he's uh, just riding out this round on top, keeping his head low. He's not looking to pass, not looking for posture. He's doing enough to stay on top though. Oh, George with strikes from the bottom. Being warned about the back of the head, but Rob's turning away. Very I mean, it's not exciting, but it's left. smart from Rob Masters. Very, very smart. Very I will say about there. Rob, he, he finds a way to win every fight. Doesn't he just? And he finishes it off with a very, very strong set of doubles. Not a bad, not a bad performance from Rob Masters. And just some things to be desired from George Karuna. It, he's got to learn to keep it standing and have much, have more to go to when it comes to getting taken down and getting put on his back. Yes, yeah, some sweeps, some stand-ups. It's difficult. It's difficult. Rob wasn't looking. Sometimes you, you get drawn into the... It. If we're grappling in the gym, we're both playing the game. Whereas Rob wasn't looking to pass. It means it's, it's hard to get. It's a bit like if we box and the other guy just covers up. It's very hard to hit. When they try and get you, that's when there's opening. So Rob wasn't looking to pass, which meant George just couldn't get anything from the bottom. There was no openings, and that's, that's a brilliant strategy from Rob. 
Yeah, really, just just stay there with your head in the middle of their chest. Don't move move at all. Keep your elbows pinned, and every once in a while, sneak a punch in. It was very a very crafty performance there from Rob Masters. But we'll have to go to the judges' scorecards and see how they thought it. George 